Seth Rollins has lashed out at a fan at a recent WWE live event. We also have an injury update on Rey Mysterio. And a hot free agent was backstage at last week's AEW collision. More on that later on. Hello, everybody. We're back with the news. We're going to be talking now about Seth Rollins because at a recent live event on uh, just yesterday, I believe, in Miami, Florida, Seth Rollins, after his match, took to the microphone to call... Or was it off mic? No, it was no, on, it was the on mic. It was on mic. Cut a promo on a fan in the uh, crowd. Yeah, who, who called him a fake ass champion. Fake ass. <sighs> uh, he said, got one guy over here, that guy. Points him out to everybody gets booed. That guy right there called me a fake ass champion. I'm here in your city sweating buckets, bleeding my own blood. Uh, I'm far, well, it's good that it's not somebody else's, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm far from a fake ass champion. I'm a fighting champion because you guys desire, deserve the revolutionary. You deserve the visionary. You uh, deserve the world champion, Seth freaking Rollins. It was quite funny because he's towards the end. He's got back on track there. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's gone back in character. He was yeah. clearly shook. Um, <laughs> he. Um, it was it was made a little bit more awkward by the fact that his mic kept cutting out as well, oh. and it's, it it sounded like they were messing with him. They kept doing it. He was <laughs> clearly bothered, and maybe they were trying to cut him off because yeah. he shouldn't be addressing one particular fan. Uh, but they let him crack on with it. He, he got his message out there, but he was clearly wound up. It's you know what he's been put in a, a really rough situation. He's a world champion. We've talked about it a lot, but many fans still think it feels secondary to Roman Reigns. Yeah, and his belt. yeah, and it's not Rollins' fault. It's the position he's been put in. But I can see why. Why, well, first of all, I can see why that would be a heckle directed at him, mm -hmm. but I can also see why that would annoy him as well, because from his point of view, he's putting in the graft. He's working really hard. He's the fighting champ, he isn't is he? He's the fighting he's champ. Been, he's the one having the amazing match. I'm not saying that Roman Reigns isn't, but Seth's there a lot more than Roman Reigns, yes. obviously. Um, but, I mean, I, I think this just purely speculation this sounds like maybe a bad day at the office kind of situation yeah. the thing that maybe nine times out of ten he would have just brushed off like the other recently on the podcast I, I watched it back and at one stage i threatened to headbutt matthew because he was just oh he's so annoying <laughs> <laughs> okay and that was a bad was, day you know that was yeah day. yeah we all have that we all threaten to headbutt <laughs> colleagues from time to time it wasn't a real threat but i looked in my own eyes on the video and i thought oh no i meant that a yeah, little so bit so it was a real threat well, I the next story real. is ray mysterio <laughs> and we got an injury update on Yes. What's going on there? Um, on last week's SmackDown, Rey Mysterio took on Santos Escobar in the final of this number one contenders tournament to determine uh, who's going to face Austin Theory for the United States Championship. But the bout did have to be called off by the referee due to Rey Mysterio being injured. Now, Dave Meltzer's got an update on the Wrestling Observer Radio. Everything's fine, basically. Uh, he said that Rey Mysterio was knocked silly, Dave's words, uh, before the dive, but he was told Mysterio was fine. Everything's okay there. The injury actually didn't happen with the slide. So he slides him out of the ring and all right. that. Uh, or he slides out of the ring. Uh, and uh, But it happened before that, and that was a way to cover for it by a bit of time as they went to commercial break. Mm -hmm. And then obviously it was called off by the time uh, we got back on air. Yeah, I mean, that's um, that's a shame for Ray, but it's good to know that at least it wasn't... It's weird saying it's nothing more serious because imagine if you or I was knocked silly at work. Mm. That'd be very serious, but for these guys, it's like... Oh, he's fine. Another day in the office, though. <laughs> yeah. Eh? yeah. Um, well, the, the plan was for um, for old Santos to, to win the match anyway. So you got to feel a bit bad that he didn't get, uh, I assume, mm. clean win over Rey Mysterio. But actually, it sort of worked out still, didn't it? Because yeah. if he had beaten him clean, everybody would be going like, oh, uh, uh, can they can they coexist now? There's their dissension and all that sort of stuff. But actually, like, it didn't harm the booking that much, if Maybe at all. It uh, I don't know how to say this. Like maybe it kind of just streamlines his momentum heading into this title match, or it yeah. keeps it, it. It doesn't overcomplicate things. Um, yeah, Escobar will now challenge Austin Theory for the title, not at SummerSlam, but on the August uh, 11th edition, the the SmackDown after SummerSlam. It's a shame that's not happening on pay per view. Yeah, it makes me think. Does that make a title change more or less likely? I'm not I don't sure. Know. I'd like him to win. Yes, same. Uh, the Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That is where that episode of SmackDown is taking place. There was a recent report by uh, Better Wrestling Experience, quite. Uh, quite a, he's an insider with quite a good track record um, who said something along the lines of WWE are considering um, like a, a, a basically a TV or, or a babyface champion of like Latin background to try. Uh, and, yeah, 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 so that would, yeah, I mean, Santos would fit the bill there. Yeah, spot um, on. But he didn't mention specifically whether that was in like the mid card or the main event or whatever. So um, I don't know what we can really glean from that. But it would it does line up. It would make sense. Um, now to NXT, where one of NXT's top stars has quit Twitter after expressing frustration with her recent booking. Oh, Cora X. Jade. Do we call it Twitter still? It's X now, right? Oh. It's a Annoying, isn't it? It's so it's bad, really it? annoying. They quit X or Twitter, all right? X. Oh, I'm X. just gonna He's send obsessed. an X. What are you? What are you like? What are you? I X'd it out. 
Oh, right. Um, if you tw- like tweeted it out, I X'd it out. That sounds like you're getting rid of something, though, doesn't it? it sounds like the you're erasing something. The whole thing does. Something. You see the logo and it looks like you, think, you want to close the web page. I think his child's called X. Is it? You know, the, the, Him, you know how he got called his child? Like, Archangel. It's and there's some symbols. And I think it's shortened. That's like how, like, we'd, like, how we'd call a Christopher Chris. Well, Archangel is X. <laughs> or a little X. Get over it, yeah. He's not all there, is he? No, no. But he's a genius. Oh, in a way. Know. Anyway, so uh, she, she Cora sent Jade. Out an X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's X'd out. She's not happy. She, uh, she's deleted her Twitter now, uh, following a, an X that said, "I remember when I was on a PLE in April of 2022," and then very shortly afterwards, she deleted her Twitter, stating that she hates the platform. Yeah, well, a lot of us do now. <laughs> um, she had previously deactivated it earlier this year as well, in March before coming back. So maybe she will again. I don't know. I can't tell whether this is in character or not because her character would do this as well so it's quite a nice yeah, disguise if she, yeah she got a lot of flack immediately obviously for it. lots of exes coming at her um and it's not like she's not been on pay-per-view like she's had a few since then and she's featured prominently on tv right yeah she has featured prominently week to week she is in a better position than i'd argue most of the women's division in nxt maybe it was in character but maybe it was in character uh, and also on the other hand i do have sympathy for her because she has just been booked to lose to dana brooks so that i mean oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's so it. that can provide some crucial context <laughs> why she might be man. frustrated well dana brooks a proven star on the main roster so you got i mean you can't expect to be beating her every week yeah absolutely you? yeah but, but dana dog. brooks storyline going in was i'm a big loser and i need to win soon <laughs> come here cora <laughs> lay down i thought it was the sort of loss that would maybe signify a call-up for cora j because what i mean once you've lost to dana brooke what you could but maybe not given the frustration here i don't know time will tell mm. um And moving on now to uh, a report from Fightful Select who have a bit of information on scrap plans for the, you remember the backlash, the Rhea Ripley and Selena Vega? You remember backlash? Rhea Ripley versus Selena Vega, absolutely. And Selena Vega was one of the big um, benefactors of that as well. They loved her because of her Puerto Rican background. But Fightful uh, say the initial plan was for Rhea to actually squash Selena Vega in that match. Uh, Then those plans changed because, as we saw in in the kind of the week building up to the, not, it wasn't that long before really, but. The SmackDown, the Go Home SmackDown the go home was in Puerto in, Rico, didn't was they? in Puerto Rico, yeah. and and she got a huge reception there. Um, and apparently, all this support that she gained from the fans uh, meant that it was a more competitive match than initially was planned. Uh, and apparently, Rhea was also happy to accommodate the changes. I think that's fair. It's good yeah, looking. for sure. And you know what, Rhea still got her squash, didn't she? Natty, yeah. Yeah, thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Yeah, she did. Um, yeah, it, it's nice to hear just another bit of backstage news about Rhea Ripley being super easy to work with. She's mm. she's the best, isn't she? I know this story's about Zelina and everything. I just love Rhea. Yeah, as, oh, as, she's as fantastic. To everyone. She's, um, they're, they're all, I mean, everything, it seems to be going well for the Judgment Day at the minute. Yeah. You hear reports. I mean, they're all they're all over. Like, they are every, they're on all three brands at the minute, everywhere. Yep. Um, especially Raw and NXT. Sometimes it's cropping up on SmackDown. Uh, Rhea's the SmackDown champion, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Or did but you? No way. No. Hang on. It all got changed. Yeah. What am I talking about? Um, but um, they're everywhere. It's all going well. And these reports do come out saying like Rhea's great to work with. We're really hot on Damian Priest. Balor's really good to work with. Dom's just won the Dom's NXT North American. I was he? about to make a joke. Go. Dom's just there. No, he's oh, not just there. He's a, cha- he's a no. He's a champion. There You're he's right. There. He's the North American champion. They're all just doing great work. They're mm. loving what they're doing, and it comes across on screen, doesn't it? Really it? You does. can really tell. It really does. Uh, and crossing the divide now to AEW, where, as per a report from Fightful Select, former MLW star Richard Holiday was backstage at Collision. Uh, he recently found himself a free agent, but has recently made a successful return from battling stage four Hodkins lymphoma, which is excellent news, obviously. Yeah, amazing. So he used um, to team with MJF. Right. Um, in MLW acronyms mm-hmm. um and so it's interesting that he would pop up there uh he, he's really I, I haven't seen that much of him uh, i've seen a few of his promos i think he's a really he good talker seems to be of a similar like cut from the same cloth yeah. as mjf you can tell why they were paired up they're both natural very good heels uh, and very charismatic um he is said to live in connecticut and was nearby for collision um the nature of his visit is as yet unknown but it is worth noting that apparently he is close with mjf uh, they did use to team together as adam mentioned and they do even have a reign as mlw tag team champions nice in the past. yeah nice um i wouldn't be i mean i'm surprised in fact that he wasn't booked to like be on rampage or something but we could always see that it's it seems to be a good sign that he was invited along to the to the yeah table. for sure he's very he's very good from what I've seen anyway yeah. so it'd be, it'd be nice to see him 
Popper. I'm eager to see more as well. We're, yeah, we're, more we're, people in AEW's roster. Is what we need, right <laughs> we need more. <laughs> Zilla Fatu, get him in. Oh no, he's more. He's going to be WWE. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching this news video. We do have a news video earlier today as well on this very channel, so do check that out and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.